Hey, Tequila Talk Tuesday. Tequila Talk Tuesday. Cheers, Cheers guys. Look at our nice Christmassy drinks. Getting in the Christmas spirit, the spirit of things. that doesn't 
That doesn't mean that it gives you the right to mm -hmm. then take that for advantage. Oh, he's posing shirtless, therefore I'm going to do Yes, this. therefore it's okay to right? say these things. So here's here's what I was thinking. I was actually talking to I was actually talking to Jerry about this today. Because I was like I was like, does what goes through that person's mind? Like if okay, I get it. Like if you're just trying to freak him out, mission accomplished, but did you did you think that he was suddenly gonna be like, oh my god, prepare your throat for me? Oh, I'm so in love. I'm just gonna drop what I'm doing. Let's meet, and we're just gonna have a like. Did you honestly think that that was gonna happen? Like, I just, I don't get it. I feel like there's a really there's a fine line between being assertive and speaking your mind and and you know being authentic, then just being downright like crude and like I feel like your intention. The intention behind that message was obviously to freak him out. I, I feel like that's what it was. I mean, mission accomplished, but that says more about the person who sent it. Yeah. And, but but now, again, like, maybe they just want a little bit of attention, and they're definitely getting that attention, too. Oh, because right? he posted so, on this, oh, I mean, he didn't say who it was, but he, he screenshot it. Yeah, they so know. Yeah, they know. Oh, they're like, ha ha, yes, see, I sent this to him. I don't know. I don't know. I was just like, I just, I honestly, when I was talking to Jenna about this, I'm like, women are seriously just as bad as men sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. And like, is this what sparked? Is this what sparked the conversation about me asking my sisters? Was that? Yes. Was that yeah, because we were talking about I, my lip gloss is sticking all <laughs> to the straw. Um, might not be a bad thing later. <laughs> See, I can be crude too. But um, yeah, because we were talking about how your sisters, being younger, think that or feel that in, in like now it's getting better. There's a lot more women empowerment, and there's a lot more. Um, support when it comes to women, especially being on social media or speaking their mind or being whoever they are, and me being like the negative Nancy that I am, basically said, I don't agree, I don't agree with that fully because I feel like there still is a lot of stereotypes when it comes, and a lot of, um, not slut shaming, but definitely women shaming when it comes to successful women on social media, and I feel like now it's like, almost blind support like you be who you who you are and you be authentic and like don't let anybody tell you how to be and act and say and stuff like that but then when situations like this happen it's like what's her excuse oh, I was just being authentic you can't judge me yes I fucking can't because the intent behind that behind messages like that I just feel are crude crude and I'm a crude person don't get me wrong I am unfiltered and I really don't get I, I don't give a fuck when anybody says so if she doesn't give a fuck great but like there's a reason you sent that message. You yeah. know what I mean? And I think that there's a difference between sending that amongst like friends and people that you kind of know, and then just a random stranger. Yeah, like us, like that would be like us sending Dwayne Johnson some ridiculous message yeah. like that, right? Like, yeah. it's it's funny, but yeah, I just yeah, it sparked a conversation with my sisters, and yeah, because there's quite an age gap between us and and my my younger sisters, and just knowing like how things were. Yeah, when we were growing up compared to them growing up and mm -hmm. like being, they're all single and like navigating dating apps and you know, just like sleeping around and things like not being so, it, it's not so negative, it's not such a bad thing for them. Yeah. Whereas for us there was, yeah, a whole bunch of like, oh my gosh, you need to like, there was definitely a huge double standard for us yeah, dating. Like, yeah, men can go out and, and date whoever they want, but God, the second we date more than one man, it's like, you're a slut! Yeah, and that's where which social media now, it is kind of changing, and it's conversations like this that brings it to light that women are really... Oh, not... We're yeah. not angels, and we're not all of... We're not these, like... Actually, you know what? Something... Okay, I'm going to give this woman kudos for a second, because, hey, I don't know who she is, but I feel like... Um, Oh my god, tequila just made me lose my train of thought. Mm. The funny thing would go. No, 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 go. don't lose it. Okay, I, I was gonna say, like, like I, I like that women in, in this day and age are now becoming more fearless and more bold. Mm -hmm. Probably not in the way that I, I would uh, uh, definitely approve. However, being bold and courageous and being unfiltered are definitely good things for women to be in this day and age. Where before it was just like button up, but yes. like you couldn't yeah. say you had to know your place, you know, be in the kitchen, make sandwiches, and all that crap. Like, but now we get to speak our mind and we get to be. Um, no, we didn't get. We took that. We took that right to be or uh, to be unfiltered and be courageous and be um, bold and say and speak our minds. We took that right. 
So I can't be mad at her <laughs> for, for, for her doing it. For being courageous, for just, you know, putting herself out there. Like, but I mean, again, like, I don't know. Prepare, okay, I can't. I just can't. I laughed at that for the longest time. I just didn't even know what to say. It was shocking. Yeah, and I, I don't know. I just think that when it comes down to it, still, like, just be mindful and maybe, you know, it's not the best way to get attention sometimes. But at the same time, I mean, if that's what's going to make you happy, but just know that guys, guys care too. They uh -huh. do, they do take, maybe not offense, but, but sometimes it could be. But and, offense though. Yeah. Like, I feel like some guys would be so, and like, I mean, I feel like Rylan's a pretty good sport about what he did. I mean, he obviously didn't give a fuck either because he screenshotted it and shared it to his social, but I feel like lots of men would just be like, whoa, like, that's aggressive, you know, like, just, oh, like, no, I don't appreciate that. I mean, there could be some guys that have been like, yeah, you know, okay, no speaking problem. of social media and, like, people on there, Zoe or Zoe, that Zoe wrote? Yeah, yeah that okay. we love. Did you not see what she posted recently about, like, preparing for a date night? No. Oh my god, now okay, I'm talking gotcha. about women being crude. This chick, she's freaking hilarious. But she's also like the embodiment of like empowerment too, though. Like, okay, I, I, I feel like I feel like we need to like cut the clip and show her TikTok right in this scene because yeah, it was hilarious. It was something about like preparing for date night and she was like pulling back her it was it was the one that I want to make the TikTok for the vibe oh, with your friend. Okay. And her head is just going like this and she's like preparing for tonight. <laughs> Like, could you imagine if it, But again, there's a double standard because could you imagine if a guy posted that, how many women would be outraged? Uh, yeah. And say if he was doing any sort of like thrusting or whatever, but her doing it because she's a woman, prepared, it's just, it's crazy how all the double standards are. I just, it's, it's, yeah. It's you too just, much. You can't, well, and like, and she's like, she's posted things about like, there was a shower going like flipping up and she's like, where's my money? Where's my money? And you know exactly what she's fucking talking about and what she's going to use it for. But like, Again, like guys do that, and women are just like, you're sexist, you're a pig, you're this, and like, and, and all that. Well, what about the women who do it? You yeah. know, like, yeah, they're, I, I don't know, I think people just need to be a little bit less judgmental, more open minded, less double standards, but you know, still like keep it somewhat classy. I, well, I feel like, like we said before, the, the intention behind something, it definitely needs to be be something that you think about because if you're sitting at home alone alone in the dark and you feel and you're just like well I'm just gonna send this just to see what happens or I'm gonna be as rude as possible like even bulls like cyber bullies online like they they hide behind a keyboard and their intent behind something is to like negatively impact somebody mm -hmm. and so I feel like the the intent behind something that you say social media in real life whatever the intent behind it so I really highly doubt that you would walk up to Rylan on the street and be like, hey, I want to I want to prepare my throat for you <laughs> Would you say that in real life? I don't know. What would he do? He'd probably walk away and go, huh? And like, I mean, I don't know, but like, I don't know. Tequila, man <laughs> Yeah, so basically the moral of the story is <laughs> Watch your intention on when you do things and remember that there is a double standard and no matter what you do Somebody is going to judge and say something about you yeah. I feel like that's kind that, of That's where, the moral of the story. I feel it like it really is. is. Yeah. <laughs> I just think, I think that like, you know, there's all this, there's all this talk about, actually, yes, this is, this is, this is an important point. Um, I feel like there's all this talk about women who need to, like, we want to be, be classy and taken seriously. And like, and you, you know, there's all these things where like, oh, we built it. Just like I said, we took the right to be outspoken and heard and stuff like that. And then there's, it, then there's stuff, then there, then there's women out there who do stuff like that, that kind of, I feel like blows us back, like five, five steps. And that's just my feeling. I mean, obviously that, like, that's just my feeling because it would, that would be never something that, that I would do ever. And I just feel, I feel like we as women, especially because of like, because of past, because of how we're perceived, because of, how, because of the type of image that we want to portray, I feel like we really have to watch our intention behind what we say and what we do. Um, and keep, you know, like, Maybe not necessarily keep it classy, but keep it authentic. Like keep it, you know, if you're not gonna say it to someone's face, don't say it at all. Yeah. I feel like, and that goes for men too. Yeah. 
and just give some respect, like, even though people get, like, get famous and get by, like, on their looks and things like that, that doesn't all of a sudden mean it opens up and gives you the right to... They're not pieces of meat. Yeah, to, to comment on every little thing. Like, yeah. yes, they put themselves in that position and, and they might feel vulnerable or whatever. And I don't know, like, just don't don't hate on it because everyone has... has has their way of expressing themselves, and if, if that's what they choose to do, then they're gonna rock it and own it. But that doesn't mean that they should have to tolerate that stuff either. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I and I know that it, it, you know we know that it happens. We know mm -hmm. that like even you know celebrities with you know 23 million followers get harassed and get sent death threats and stuff like that. And it's gonna happen regardless of what you do, regardless of, regardless of what level you get at. It's going to happen. But it doesn't mean that them as a that's, person deserve. Yeah, yeah that is okay. Of, no. Yeah. No. So just be mindful. Yeah. Set your attention. And drink some tequila. Yeah. With, with uh, some red... What is this? It's a zero-calorie sparkling. Ice cream. Ice because cream. Megan YQL Nutrition Challenge, <laughs> I'm still hitting my goals while drinking tequila. We like it. We like it. <laughs> Cheers. Right. Cheers. See you next week. Thank you, Rowan, for the... It's both. Yeah, that. Okay. And your abs. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Just to add the crude line on there. <laughs>